That's actually a really good fucking Boston song. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we just did the Boston not long ago on this. That shows you how lazy I'm getting. Oh. Well, it's disagree. A- it's just a good. <laughs> the Boston's are good. It's a good. Fr- Fridays are meant for ska, right? Yeah, well, I was gonna say Shit. ska's just great. So. Hey, to our, uh, to our defense, we've been without a metal guy for a good while now. Oh. Yes, the technology watch continues. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, I don't. I don't even. You're on the show. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See. That's not good. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I don't this even. This guy doesn't. This guy ain't even aware. I'm mm-hmm. starting to discover music light. that came out like three months ago. I don't know what's <laughs> going on out there. Actually, it's interesting to bring that up because I'm starting to find a lot of shit that was like released in 2020 and 21. Oh shoot. That I wasn't that even missed. really all that aware of huh. necessarily. Yeah, I grant a lot of it's like some deep cuts and or or bands that nobody's ever heard of, but. Um, <laughs> But still, it's like, man, that's a banger of a song. Why the hell didn't I pick up on? Oh, pandemic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a good reason for it. Anyway, it's a Mead Metal and MMA podcast. Uh, we haven't done one of these in a couple of weeks. Since then, well, when does happen? One of us went to the fiftieth state and back. Indeed. One uh, of us basically barely left the house, and, and more than he had to. And the other <laughs> one uh, works at a dispensary. So, Ooh, yeah, which one am I? <laughs> hmm. Who is who, or whom is whom? When do you use? Can someone tell me when it is appropriate who to use? Who is whom? That'd be correct. It, how? How? Because singular and then sing, uh, addressing the singularity, right? Oh. I'll have to look into that. I'm that sounds guy, really I'm really a guy deep. that's actually <laughs> about half done with a master's program and have never once taken an English class. So. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about Fancy. that. Fancy. Yeah, awesome. It's because I, uh, I suck. That's why. <laughs> well, <laughs> honesty <laughs> always at this table. Yeah, no, no. Clep, Truth or clep, lies. Clep one and then challenge the other. Hell, yeah. It's like, that's all I need? Right on. And then, uh, then I started taking upper level fucking British lit classes. Because uh, I thought I wanted to be an English major without taking the basics, and then it turns out, no, nah, I didn't want to do that. So that's <laughs> why you know about all them weird books and shit. Yeah. Well traveled. God damn, man, you w- are coming weathered. in low. Weathered. You, I'm coming in low? You are coming in low. Mike is on. All's good. Bump it. Can you, like, bump it up a little bit? It bump what up? The whole thing. The whole thing? Like, it's right at my mouth. There. Oh, now I can hear you. All, Ooh, right. all right. There we go. Just had to piss you <laughs> off a little bit. needs to be closer to your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'll just, I'll just Get start, it I'll just start screaming. Get yes. on in it. Sound like a uh, homeboy from uh, from right there with, uh, you know, Deft- or not Deftones, Bostones. Uh, Deftones yeah. is a different thing, though. Yeah. That's true. A very real thing that's happening in Yay. six fucking days. God damn it is under a week, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting nervous. I don't know why. It's well, my first mainly, like big concert in a long time. I think that's why. Probably because uh, this shit's that. been kicked down the road twice. I know. So. I'm really. I'm like. Ah. I know there are people at my job. They're like, "Didn't you already go to this concert?" I like, know. No, no. You've been talking about it since you've worked here, right? Yeah, I isn't know. that crazy? <laughs> I know. It's true though. Well, we skipped the letter Kenny thing, so we haven't been to something that was like postponed. Yet. Yeah. So this is like the well because this is supposed to be on the original tour in 2020. Yeah. That is supposed to be on their 21. Yep. And here we are. And uh, yeah, September. It was supposed to have been last September, I think, was the second reschedule. Yes. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, like right after <laughs> Ohms came out, album comes out, tour gets announced, we're it, there. Yeah. Well, it was supposed to be like what November or something like that. That one gets moved back, and that's supposed to be September 21. And that's when we started having all these rising, surging cases again. So and they, they, they canceled that shit like, or postponed it in July. Yeah. When it was like, man, we're getting back to normal. Why are they I moving know. this? Oh, about yeah. two weeks go by. Like, yeah. Chino knows like, what's up. Damn, yeah. these are some smart. Yeah. Maybe we start listening to Stephen Carpenter's weird theories. <laughs> well, no, you just follow the science. Like, yeah. honestly, it hasn't been wrong. People just choose to be upset about it. Doesn't it feel yeah. a little weird, though? Like, they're... I, I, I legit I think I think the science I think is fine. I'm starting to have a little bit of an issue with CDC and media. Yeah, definitely. The uh disconnect between the science and what's being given to the public is kind of grossing me out right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm with you, man. 100%. No, it's it's like almost like they're getting pissed off cuz their relevancy is not what it was yeah. and the only way they can regain it is to scare the piss out of yeah, us. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And I don't like to be scared. I no. I know me. I'm a rebel. I will do the opposite. Yeah, well, I'll turn, no. into, I'll turn into one of these assholes around this county. Licking doorknobs <laughs> every chance I get. Well, I don't know. I just think it's such a strange thing that the mask is so stigmatized here, but like in Asia they have no issue just wearing them all the time. As just a 
a course of action because a lot of people in a small space inadvertently are going to give each other viruses sure. and bacteria. It's just part of the, you know. I think the problem it. is is that Sharing's airspace. this country is built on the principle of rebelling against yeah, authority. Yeah, I know. So. And independence and independent thinking, blah, blah. I get it. Whatever. I'm over it. Yeah, and, anyway. and also, and also, I mean, just too much unchecked bad information, wrong information. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, and everyone has an opinion, and everyone can express that opinion and come up with something that backs it up, which is really bizarre to me. So, anyway, yeah, we we do science backwards yeah. now, right? Anyway, That's, whatever. Yeah, it is what it is because <laughs> because they're like, hey, there's this B two blah 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 blah, and they got like no response. And now they're like, oh, there's a new Omicron out though. It's like, come on, man. You're you're doing shit. Just it, it purely feels like you're trying to keep people scared. No, yeah. I mean at this point, uh, hospitalizations aren't keeping up with case count. So I mean, it's definitely a less virulent strain. So yeah, I don't know. Well, and then they were complaining. It's like, how are we ever going to get an accurate tally now that there's all these home tests? Well, I don't. Whatever. Well, well, why why are you playing a numbers game in the first place? Yeah. Well, and I just think. I don't know. I do think that maybe masks on planes and like spaces where people are very close to each other is probably sure. not a bad idea, especially when you're going a lot of different places. But right. That's, just, I guess, just me thinking about it from like a public health standpoint. But yeah, ain't a bad one. So uh, how did the 420 day go? I didn't work it. Oh, oh I bet really? that was nice. You no, had a day I, off I, on 420 and you work at a dispensary? Well, I I normally always have Wednesdays off. Oh, shit. Wednesday oh, just yeah. happened to be 420. Uh, One but of those I, times it worked out in your Yeah, face, you know, had some stuff I had to get done, so it actually all kind of worked out. It was fine. I think the reality is really starting to set in that all these people that own dispensaries in New Mexico thought like a, a serious rush was going to come right. and just take all the inventory away. Yeah. We've that espoused did, our, that did not happen. We've espoused that theory on on this podcast, right? Uh, yes. That, well, because that we, that's because there was, was an said. assumption there was that an was assumption projected. that there's just it's like the business was going to triple. Sure. And I and, and but Brandon and I were talking about it thinking, "Wait a minute. Well, what if everybody that I don't know wanted marijuana went out and got a card over the past that's few true. years and, already and they've already it. have it." That's true. The day PTSD became a legitimate reason to get a card. Yeah. All of a sudden, you have everybody coming out of the woodwork, including people that are really great liars, coming out to get the weed card. Well, and but r- what I, I mean is, everybody that wanted to smoke weed was already doing it. Fascinating. That, that card basically became the same as California had right before they went full yeah. legal wreck. Is that out there? You just show up to a doctor, and they would basically confirm your name. And it's like, uh, I don't know, what's this one for? I'm just on PTSD. And Got like, a big crack in my there you butt. Go. Bye. And, and see, I'm one of the way. few that like violates this because I'm actually hesitant to get a card, even though I know there are benefits. That's because you don't like government tracking you, no, you little weirdo. The can get, <laughs> no, they can just leave me the hell alone. <laughs> they already do too much with my shit already. That like, we'll see. They're going to get you either with your information or with your tax dollars. Sure. So, oh, I mean, they get they, me multiple ways. They hell, they control my, the way I take my birth control. Like that's the creepiest part. That is a bad thing. Yeah, isn't that gross? Like the government. Dictates that is strange. That. So uh, yeah, I already don't like it they're already up in my uterus so you know i can ask them to hand you know keep their hands off me in other ways okay? that's right send us your bang schedule we'll uh, go ahead and try to take uh, some constructive efforts here uh. i mean i mean tickle it talk dirty to me get me excited about the project right <laughs> but yeah it was it was good i, I stopped by work and uh, got some Hair extensions put in my beard. Good man. Oh, that's interesting. That were glittery green and purple. Oh, how pretty. So yeah. that way you were ready for the Mardi Gras a couple months ago. Right? <laughs> yeah. Or, or like a really kick-ass Joker's dad type of costume. Yeah. Uh, weird thing, though, is trying to sleep with that shit in your beard. Impossible. Oh, you try to leave that shit in. Well, they're like, it'll just fall. I'm like, cool, I'll leave it in. You know, go to work tomorrow, look a little festive. Yeah. Nah, fuck no. that. No, about 1 a.m. after the third out. time about pulling my beard out of my face. <laughs> I was like, this thing's got to go. Now you and know these... why I don't like growing a long beard anymore, because I was getting that shit from my natural beard. Well, so. the thing was, like, because I, I, when I sleep, I kind of have my hand kind of close to my face. So it would get caught <laughs> where she attached this stuff to my beard <laughs> and my normal beard, and I'd, like, fucking move. And be like, oh, God damn. <laughs> after the third time, it's like 1.30 in the morning, I, it has to go. And those are not easy things to get out if you don't want to lose a little hair. 
So I'm in there with these little tiny motherfucking scissors that if I slip out of it, it's just going to stab me right oh through my, my finger. Yay. Because it had to be super small to get in there so I could fucking snip this little bead thing she clamped on her and uh, get this stuff off my beard so I get some rest and not lose my beard. <laughs> because that was the next thing. Well, maybe it's time to shave the beard. Oh, no. Fucking 92 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I mean. at daylight and humid. This morning, I was like, this might be it for me. Yeah, it's really, I, I'm miserable. I walked out this morning. I thought, what the fuck is this? There's a weird sensation I don't recognize. Oh, it's humidity. That's how dry it's been for a yeah. year out here. Yeah, now we're right back to her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> any, any benefit we had from the few hours of humidity this morning is gone. However, I will say this. Uh, we finally got something back in at work that I've missed for so long, and I'm so happy they brought it, finally did R- more RSO? Uh, no, because really, in essence... Rick Simpson oil is exactly the same as full spectrum oil. Okay. It's just, you know, like when he made it, when he was doing it, it was RSO. So when you buy RSO, it's really FSO. Okay. Bro. <laughs> so all FSO is RSO, but not all RSO is FSO. No, all RSO is FSO, but not all FSO is RSO. Oh, well, yeah, I had that yeah. ass back. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, I sometimes stand in the commode to take a piss. <laughs> I, I turn around and use it as like a tabletop, the commode lid. Oh, Fucking, that's where you read your book, put your snacks. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you, South Park, for that. Now, you ever want to get like some people walking out of your restroom when they visit your house with their like kind of like one eyebrow raise? Keep a, like a cookbook on your toilet tank, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> that or any for dummies book, like pooping for it's dummies little, or something. It's a little foreshadowing. It's a little foreshadowing. <laughs> but you, uh, do you remember the joint that we bought in Colorado? Where the lady said... Uh, well, and I'd already made my oh, y'all purchase. Get, yeah. I, I made my purchase. Brandon's up there. He's like, uh, yeah, what's that over there? And she goes, oh, this is some kind of joint or whatever. She no. goes, it's fun. It'll get you really fucked up. And I went, did she say fun? I, I would like one of those. Did she also say really fucked up? I, no, no, just yeah. the fun. Just oh, the fun. I heard really fucked up. Although really fucked up is what it'll get you. Yeah. But we both bought them. It, it, but it, what it was, it was a bubble joint. So it was pretty much regular joint, dipped in hash oil covered in keef but this the bubble joints are a little different because they have fucking concentrate in it yeah Yikes. and that's what that's what gets you Woo. usually it's like live diamonds or the like uh yeah. we have triple threats which is exactly the same minus a concentrate it's just uh dipped Sounds in like hash a oil shitty band name <laughs> triple threat well you know funny thing is ruben used to be part of a rap group called triple threat <laughs> I, ha- I was actually throwing some shade at some dicks that I used to play with around here that had a band by the name of Triple Threat, too. Ooh, so, yeah. Wow. There's a lot of Triple Threats around here. Everybody thinks it's unique. I prefer the it's joint. Not. It's I like prefer- you're unique just like everyone else. Yes, precisely. <laughs> God, there's a, a beautiful a, snowflake. There's a wrestling match type <laughs> named after this shit. It's not, it's, un, it's common. <laughs> so I got big news. Ooh. I uh, had a birthday a week and a day ago. Ow. And uh, some uh, assholes around here, through the uh, kindness of their pocketbooks, end up getting me a, uh, a gift card to Sweetwater. Hell yeah. Is that, I think that's good. Yeah. Well, and not Landles. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. No, no. I assumed uh, not Landles. Oh, Sweetwater I just Music Supply. I was out like, of Fort I didn't Wayne, know Indiana. what it was, but I assumed it was not that establishment. Not that you have anything against it, just that I don't think that's a place that you go. No, no. And it's weird that Brandon even brought that up. Anyway, but the. Uh, <laughs> Well, everybody so else in my life, so it's confusing. Yeah, yeah, understandable. So there was a pedal that I, I thought about buying uh, a couple of years ago, and I passed on it because it's... Time out, time out. I'm casual. Oh, okay. I was like, computer freaking out, but it's back. Oh. Okay. I guess. Uh, all right, I think we have all the stuff taken care of now. We're good. Okay. Technical Yay. issue Technical dealt issue with. destroyed, annihilated, pushed to the back burner to deal with later. So, no, we love it out of our electronics. That's right. We don't push things. So the pedal, <laughs> though, I wasn't willing to pay like $400 for sure, this fucking pedal. Sure, sure. But $200, is, I can certainly do. Absolutely. And that's what I did. But it's, um, it's the Trio Plus by Digitech, and it throws, it basically on, will on the fly create bass and drum tracks. Oh, okay, cool. And as everyone knows that knows me knows I love to stay at home and play with myself. Sure. I've actually come. I've actually Dream. come over on a Sunday and seen you play with yourself Dream <laughs> a time achieved. or two. So, Dream no problem. <laughs> but uh, but anyway. But now. But the great thing about it is because of the fact is it keeps me really really honest on sure. on a lot of my lead work because okay. I hate to play to a metronome. 
And oh, all, how come? All these music, all these music technical? purists. No, all these music purists are like, you gotta use a metronome. I have to be and honest. So, I have like when I was really traditionally training on the cello pretty hard. I would do it sometimes. It was tedious, but it was necessary. The problem I have is that, though it works as a tool, it doesn't allow me to have a representation of what the sound what my live sound would be i guess that's fair sure. so what so what this pedal does though is it ends up incorporating that and also i can drop in looping tracks that you know that are rhythm and then i can just play over the hell out of those you okay. know sound like a four piece you know <laughs> i'm still trying to convince you to throw that shit on your youtube channel yeah. uh yeah I, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I probably will. Um, I'm probably not going to do like a product breakdown because I'm still too stupid on the thing. It's got so oh, many no. capabilities. And that's the reason I never did one for the night sky. It's like, fuck that. This <laughs> thing is got, about yeah. It. <laughs> it's like, I can well, you that. can do parts one, two, three, yeah. four, five, you know, et cetera, as you learn new shit. Yeah. I learn things a different way though. I just kind of jump in. And, uh, well, yeah, and but that's okay. You out. can share that with people. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of sour shit that comes out of that learning process. Oh, well maybe so. clean Absolutely. it up and then yeah. present it. I don't know, man. But um, the cool thing is it actually has um, a board out function on it. So whenever we get back around uh, recording stuff, then, uh, then shit, yeah, we can actually go direct from pedal to board. That's with awesome. That. Yeah. Um, which, which actually makes it even better because then we can handle the drum and uh, bass tracks even okay. better and uh, yeah. make them sound a little more realistic. They sound okay. They sound pretty fucking good. Yeah. Um, it, it's, I mean, it's not... The drum tones aren't as good as what you'd find an easy drummer, but um, but when it all comes together, it sounds all right. It does. Man. I was like, you were doing a little like some hard rock jargon, and the drum feels because it has settings for musical genres. Yeah, I set it on metal, yeah. and it <laughs> fucking performed. Like the fill I heard was ridiculous. Yeah, like man, we don't know anybody who can do that. Yeah, well, for for the reels. Magic. Yeah, now we got a machine. We need, we need to let LJ know about this piece of equipment. The Trio Plus? That's right. Yeah. But, yeah, bro, guess what? You don't have to worry about anybody deserting you anymore. That, oh, yeah, no shit. Yeah, because he's the poor bastard that shows up <laughs> like a battle of the bands and, and like, yeah, and nothing against Ruben. It's just you, if you know Ruben. And we know Ruben. You know that eh, maybe it works out. Maybe it don't, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the easiest way to put it. <laughs> I nearly just sprayed beer over all of this shit. Dude. <laughs> yeah, like, man, well, you know, he might. He might. He might, he might. not, <laughs> but he might. You know, so then when, like, LJ's trying to lock down some folks to play with him at, you know, certain different <laughs> battle of the bands and shit, and then, and then he's the only one that shows up. I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm just standing back there going, oh, you poor bastard. You, you trusted Ruben, didn't you? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking crying, <laughs> crying right now. I'm so sad. <laughs> <sighs> but uh, yeah, it's it. It is one. I mean, I'm not. I'm clearly not there right now. But uh, you can swap in and out SIM cards and everything else, so you can lay down crazy amounts of fucking memory on. Oh, on you mean like thing. SD cards? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Said SIM card like from your phone? Uh, well, SD. Yeah. SD, okay. Gotcha. Um, I, so I, I I'm still one of those old assholes that use both of them interchangeably, but. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's just an SD. And as a matter of fact, then you can get one of those. Um, what the fuck is it? But the, the little SD card goes into a larger carriage, yeah. and plug it into your PC and go in and do some editing that way. Oh, yeah, dude, that's all right. Yeah, the technology and music gear is fucking crazy. Can you hook that pedal directly up to your computer? Yes. Oh, because shit. that's how you do. Well, that's how you do firmware updates too. And gotcha. That's, and, that's cool. And not to mention, I mean, a lot of people run their shit through there anyway, through like a FireWire or something like that, yeah. in order to be able to directly record. Usually the laptop, but I mean, there's no. It, it would still work in theory on a PC. It's just fucking huge. That's right. Cool. Right. God, man, that's. Well, again, I'm blown away by where pedals were, or pedals are compared sure. to where they were. When I was in high school, yeah. it was a stomp box. All it did was you turn it on, you turn it off. It's still some fun about turning that Marshall up to two and letting it hit its own tones and making all my windows rattle, but, you know. Yeah, that's right. Do you, ever, do you ever just occasionally want to put it up to, like, two and a half? Oh, I actually, I, I threw it on to what they call the triode mode on the back of it. You can set up biode and triode. Triode actually means you're running at half energy. It's kind of like a rectifier, almost. Okay. And it pulls the power down half. So I can actually get away with cranking that fucker up like seven or eight. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
and it gets those tubes really nice and hot, and then it starts sounding fucking crazy. Sounds sounds like a dragon. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It sounds like Zach Wild shit. It really does. Oh, yeah. How cool. <laughs> oh, man, that is great. The, uh, the arsenal continues to grow. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Um, I, I I think I'm really good with high high end shit for a little bit, you know, a little stretch. I'd like to get to work on getting our EDM lounge put in out here, but well, now we got a bass player and a drummer. <laughs> well, we do. Uh, we are going to need to set up like a you know like a like a tractor system and everything else. Right. And, you know, We're going to have to have <laughs> workstations. Have to get uh, you know set up a lab in the other room, make Molly. Uh, you know. Yes. <laughs> yes. I like to throw in some of these illicit drug references because yeah. we got a friend that. Uh, uh, that doesn't care for it much. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, ooh. Um, but yeah, I, I think um, at a minimum, if we did like an EDM lounge with um, with with one or two lights, really, um, not even they don't even really have to be programmable as long as they react to sound, which most of them do, except the really old right. ones. Right. That and uh, and like a little um, haze machine. Hey, this is better than fog machines because, number one, the refills are cheaper. Number two, it just kind of dissipates in the air pretty quickly. Yeah. Smoke machine or, you know, you're going to be fucking hanging out in here. It's going to be heavy for a long time. A couple bong rips off the dragon might actually provide a similar well. result. <laughs> There's that. But, uh, but, yeah, I think that's the next direction. And then in the meantime, after that, I'm just going to start, like, squirreling away money. And every time I have enough, I'm just going to buy another Strymon pedal and build a pure Strymon board. So it's, it, Living is getting a – life can be pretty cool sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to 52, man. I'm glad it was a good transition. Fun, fun little run. Fun yeah. little run. It's been a good run. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, uh, on to uh, some of the topics for the week. Mead um, – we went ahead and racked that we've worked that near gallon batch of the experimental coffee that's been out Ooh. for a year. We've added that, so now it's going to take on a real oaky. It has, and it has been tried by Ruben Gonzalez, who is our quality assurance. It used to be me, but then I realized I was drinking it to get drunk. Right. So uh, Ruben will actually break it down. Sure. And the only thing I saw was clarity. That thing looked gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's great. You know, we have uh, yet another batch brewing right well kind of in secondary fermentation. It's about four and a half gallons. Should have been about five and a half, but I'm not going to rehash that story about how I fucked her, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go to Vegas no more. Um, probably what we're going to do, we have one wooden barrel to our name. And I think what I might very well do, I, I'm kicking the idea around about going ahead and getting another wooden barrel. Move that batch over there, the four and a half. Uh, it'll just fill a barrel. So if I get a new barrel in, purge it, get those slats to fucking expand uh, and seal it up really nice. Uh, I think I think at that time, man, that's when I can uh, probably go ahead and then move that other batch over, let it age out however long we want, if, yeah. if we do, and then swap out barrels. And then I can go ahead and get all the... All the all the lees and all the other shit out of this one because I don't know we've been running me in this barrel for two years now. Two fuck really? It was it was it was like I want to say April or May of twenty twenty. Oh my oh, wow. god, man! Two years, <laughs> fuck. Someone told me something similar. Like eh, it's been two years. I'm like fucking, are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was oh, like, oh man, I had a weird like little recollection. One of the um social media platforms so that has like a memories function or whatever and it uh, reminded me that 12 years ago we had celebrated brett's birthday and i recalled because a friend of mine she had a, a, a roll-on it's, it's like a stick deodorant almost oh, okay. of pure capsaicin oh and we were running around dotting each other well having her do it dot <laughs> it dot all of our eyes we'd pull our shirts up at the vfw and she'd come over and go deek deek oh shit and destroyed my nipples. Oh, I can't my even nipples. imagine. Holy this shit. This was before I really started hanging out here. Actually, I guess I can't imagine, <laughs> but we don't have to talk about that. Man, it was, it, was, it was like say, a yeah. day and a half. That's it was a, a day and a half. Mm, that's pretty and then insane. even then, then like a day and a half after that, I mean, they were raw. Aw, your poor nipples. Yeah. Well, men should have like, nipples Stay away from anyway, them, ladies. I mean, you know. <laughs> did you put some yogurt on them? I did not. Some aloe? That sounds a little weird to me. Aloe well, sounds right. <laughs> Yogurt would is basic. It might help balance the acidity of the capsaicin. Oh, I put yogurt in my chicken marinade. Yeah, that works too. 
<laughs> I thought you were going to say, I put yogurt in my women. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> house with, house with, well, depends on what kind of yogurt we're talking about. Uh, you know what kind of yogurt we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. No Chobani, it's the bro body. The, uh, <laughs> the old schmegma. <laughs> That ain't yogurt. That is not That's the same cheese, thing. Bro. That is not the same. That is That's cottage cheese. That's what I thought you were. That's right. what I thought you were talking about. So. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> talking about legitimate semen here, sir. Yes. Oh, thank you. The baby so, batter. So rather, yeah. So little little man batter right there that uh, that has <laughs> that has not found its way yet. Yes. <laughs> One that got trapped at the start game. Yeah. <laughs> Got stuck in somebody's sock. Oh, my gosh. The, t- the, the type of semen you would make a Disney animated series after, like struggling to get the job done. Oh so like God. most of them. Then. So like most of them. Yeah, like Finding Nemo, but with semen. <laughs> what? <sighs> you know, we want to shut her down now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's that's it for the meat update. Metal, uh, we got anything going on this week? Uh, let's see. Which actually, there were a few... I follow Ernie Ball on um, uh, which one is a fucking Facebook I think, and they they all this past week they've been posting like a different question every day which they don't usually do yeah but it's okay because that allows me a chance to respond and then uh, but I have to usually see other assholes responses and that's not you know I'm a normal a normal well adjusted American I want to let you know what I think I don't want to hear what you think there you go see that's 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 the American way. Who do you think of if somebody says, name an individual that just exudes rock and roll? Hendrix? I thought about that. That's a first name that comes to my mind. That's not what I would call my answer, but that was the first thing that popped in my head. Yeah, sure. Him, like After plans. that, I mean, God, like, maybe? Like, not, it does it have to be a band or a person? I got the vibe it was like a person. Okay, David Lee Roth, to a certain extent, that's more... That's a good pick. I didn't think about that, but that dude was a rock star back in the day. Yeah. I went with Ozzy. Yeah. And then I immediately deleted it because I realized it was on the Ernie Ball page and they make strings. I was like, well... Fuck that. They make the music, man. (laughs) Well, that's true. I mean... uh, Well, that's a guitar. uh, John Petrut... Well, yeah, that's true. They don't really work on microphones or something. That's... I mean, it's like... mm, They were looking for a front-man guitar player. And so I gave it a second thought. Jerry Cantrell, about where I come down on that one. Yeah. I would pretty much say anybody... Any famous grunge act that made it that they're still alive today. Now, if we're talking about, like, people out of that fucking crazy, crazy wheelhouse called the power glam metal of the 80s, I go C.C. DeVille all day long. That's right. (laughs) Uh, What song you want? Thank you for a lovely dinner. Aren't you going to ask me in? For coffee? Well... I do have taste as choice. Then how can I refuse? Savor the sophisticated taste of taster's choice. Well... Just one more cup? Uh, you uh, said that two cups ago. You know how much I love your coffee. Then, by all means, take it with you. That that was that was a little weird, uh, dude. It's like Groundhog Day up in this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> you aren't fucking lying. That we what for the uninitiated? We had a power outage. That's why it kind of just stopped immediately. We throw the uh, sponsor commercial on for the week from the nineties. Yeah, and, um, that's a that's that, that was our throw our throw too. Yeah, and uh, and then we sat around in the darkness. And I am craving some taster's choice. And, Craving, uh, craving a little of that coffee and a li- and a little bit of re- uh, like meaning in my life oh, right meaning, now. Huh? Need yeah, a little of that, uh, need a little of that coffee. God <laughs> damn! I almost want to just get the pics and get the fuck out of here. Oh, man, it doesn't seem like we're up against it a little bit, right? But um, oh, so man. power was out for fuck. I don't know about uh, about forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah, getting wow. close to an hour on that. But um. Back up and back up and moving. And we're sitting around like a bunch of idiots talking about shit that'd be like, man, that'd be great to talk about on the show. If only we had a show. Oh. <laughs> um, and as I, actually, it's a topic we have had before. Uh, 
there, there's a show from a few years ago that Brandon and Ruben and I did. This is even before Ohms came out. Um, and I think we were talking in, in depth about Deftones because um, of, of the anticipation of that record at some point coming out later that year. So likely as not, it was probably like th- close to three years ago. But the question was, um, top three Deftones albums, in your opinion. And Brandon, I remember your number one, but I don't remember your two and three. Krista, I don't know yours at all. Hmm. So... Yeah. Um, well, let's have a 2022 edition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Since, you know, it gets inspired for six days from now when we're seeing them live in Albuquerque. Six days. Out there, we like to shoot people. Um, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll be a good time. We'll be good. You. We'll be good. Uh, I'm going to go. My, let, let's, let's, let's go around the table with our threes and then our twos and our ones. How, All how, right. how about that? Uh, build, build a little suspense. Okay. Um, number... My number three, because my one and two are solid. Um, I think my three, I'm going to go, well, I I am that guy. I'm going to go around the fur for number three. I'm going to have to bite your stees, and, and that's that's my number three as well. Oh, no, sure. Around the fur. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it was how I, I, it was my first album of theirs, but it was their second album overall. It's a heavy bitch. It's a it real is, man. heavy record, man. You you know when you're hearing a, a song from Around the Fur. You know. Yeah. Max Cavalera fucking does head up with him on it. And this is a guy from Sepultura and Soulfly. Yeah. He guests on this shit. You uh, you jump down the road a little bit and then he's getting Maynard. That's yeah. when you know the sound is like, not changed, but way more refined. Deftones were so raw in that era. Yeah. Man. You want even more raw, listen to Adrenaline. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. That's yeah. the one before. I, that, uh, not one of my favorites, but I will put it on every once in a while uh, to hear like engine number nine, something right. like that. Board. Board is good, but it's a, it's a bunch of kids on sure. there. Yeah. Uh, so, Krista, number three, Deftones Records. I don't actually, so I don't feel like I know their discography well enough to so have you, a number you got a three. One and two, I have a one and a yeah. two, but okay. yeah, no, I'm uh, uninitiated, I suppose. Um, you will be. Yeah. I. <laughs> You will I almost I really <laughs> felt like going Ohms, their latest one for the third, because it does have some interesting tracks on it. And I'm yeah, you've seen the set list they're doing, right? Yeah, uh, I've I saw the set list they did on their first gig out. I'm assuming that Ohms is gonna be heavily played, uh right? no. No? Okay. But so they're kind of calling it on. Um I mean I I can I can tell you where it ends up on the playlist. But it, it again, if you want to go in a little bit of mystery, yeah, that's kind of what I'm aiming for. I I don't really like to know what to expect. I, I'll say this, but it, you did you did tell me that. Well, I, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute when we get to our number ones. But um, sorry, I cut you. Oh off. no worries. No, I forgot what you oh, said. Um, yeah, man, I it, it's it. They're, they're man. I really, really wish I had gotten into those guys a few more, a few years ago. Sure. Because like when they're touring and you know in support of actual full albums. Right. I feel like we're going to get kind of like a best of, aren't we? Um, to a degree. I, in my humble opinion, from what I have seen, they cover their catalog pretty well. Yeah. All right. My number two. I'm going to go Bum-ba-dum. White Pony. Which I realize is a real. That's the one that's the easiest to get into death. Sure. Absolutely. If it's you, the most accessible. If you weren't in by around the fur, White Pony brought you in. Because that's, that's where they found, I feel like, the sound that they, like, this is the bass. Right. It just gets weirder from here now. Sure. In a wonderful, beautiful way. In, in a great way. Yeah. yeah. What's your number two? Diamond Eyes. That was your number one last time. It, it's it, it my my list fluctuates sure. with how I'm feeling at the time, and I feel like the last time we did this, I was probably not in a great headspace. Okay, was I was I still working at the hotel? Yes. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> Diamond Eyes has a lot of yeah. great music to either murder or murder yourself to. Correct. Sure. But. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, number two for me. Okay. Also my number two. Okay. <laughs> for See, the same Di- reasons? Diamond yeah, Eyes. Similar reasons. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's good driving music. It's kind of the strange thing is because Diamond Eyes, granted, I like some tracks off of it, but it doesn't make my top three. I would almost put the self-titled in there ahead of Diamond Eyes from my vantage point. Re- yeah, fair. because you're you're a, I'm a, a late, late bloomer. bloomer. Late you're a late bloomer. bloomer. 
Uh, my number one, uh, Cordno Yocan. And that's only because I remember that when that one came out, and I wasn't a, I wasn't a big Deftones fan, but I was certainly aware of them. And, and I remember that it was, um, it was the time that Ruben was here, and he was talking about Koino Yocan and yeah. how a lot of Deftones fans were pissed off when they put that out. Because it's got some pretty slow tracks on it. Oh, it is, it is atmosphere. Yeah. Um, that's one of the things I really enjoy about it. If I'm going to throw a Deftones album on after work and I just need to chill the fuck out, I'm throwing that one on. Yeah, absolutely. Number one. Um, it's got to be White Pony, man. It's got to be. It, I yeah. can't. I, I, I want it, it, the, the That's the funny thing. Like Either Koi no Yokan for me is at the top or it ain't even in my top three. Sure. It almost seems like an insult. <laughs> so, but White Pony for me, it just it, it has so much more connection than really. It goes, it goes deeper than the music for me. Yeah, same. I did a lot of weird shit to this album. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of really cool shit. Some shit I got paid for. <laughs> but uh, you know, you get on the hamster, you might be able to find some videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, but yeah, that. Pretty solid. I mean, there's with, not a wrong answer. With of, first of all, it's an opinion. The but most two, it's an honorable yeah. of mentions to Koi no Yokan. Because even I'll probably throw that on before I'll throw Diamond Eyes on. Yeah. Okay. Um, Krista, since you're not deep on their discography, sure. W- your least favorite Deftones record. It has to be the one I'm the least familiar with. It's going to be Saturday Night Wrist. I was thinking about that one, but gore is still a problem for me. That's yeah, but still, it's got that Jerry Cantrell jam it, on it. It does. Uh, I guess if I'm actually wanting to try to find the thing I find to be most objectionable through the musicality of it, I, yeah. would, go, I would go Adrenaline. Yeah. Well, shit, that is, that is Deftones in their raw, unfiltered form. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's Just a fact. as angry as the children. I mean, that, that album came out, I was like 13. Right. But I didn't know about it until around the fur I heard that. I was like, what else they got? Oh, they only got one other one? <laughs> well, let's check this one out. Oh, my God, it's harder. The path it's is meaner. really interesting uh, that they kind of follow a similar level of how heavy they get. This is very similar, very parallel to the to tool, really. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think that's why they get along so well now. Wouldn't that be a tour? Yeah. Because clearly, I mean, they I don't did know. That, they did that years ago for White Pony. Yeah. That well, that was White Pony and like out. Lateralis doing shit. Yeah, you know that those were two yeah, what a fucking tour. That'd be huh? yeah. That oh god damn, I, I I hate that I was just nineteen and I was living upstate New York. I hate I was in a stupid. spot <laughs> in a spot where I could have gone to any fucking concert I wanted to, yeah. and I didn't. Probably one of my biggest regrets Whoops. is yeah. living there and only doing like two really cool things. One musically, and then I went to see uh, World Wrestling Federation at MSG. Yeah, there you go. That yeah, ain't bad. That's, that, that, that's actually that's pretty, pretty dope. Big. But yeah. everything else at Admin MSG, especially music wise, I could have seen whatever the fuck I wanted. Of man. course. Typo negative in Brooklyn? Why not? Did you hear Static X is going to uh, put out some new shit? Apparently, uh, they, <laughs> which is great because Wayne Static's been dead for a good while. Now. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, they got their new Wayne Static, who is the front man of Dope. I don't know if anybody here at the table is familiar with this band. No, dope smoker. That was, but they're a sludge no. band. No, yeah. yeah, or that. No, that's actually a sleeps album. Dope smoker. I don't know. There's a. But I mean, there's I'm, a. There's I'm a, sure. I'm there's sure. There's a, a shoegaze. Yeah, there's I'm, a shoegaze sure band, band, band called out there like that. Yeah. God, they were in fucking Albuquerque. Yes, on 420. Huh. Sleep in Albuquerque at sunshine doing dope smoker in its entirety. Okay. I thought about it. On a Wednesday? I, well, I was off. It's like, I can come. Well, I'll be high, but I'll be back by 2 a.m. <laughs> I can go to work on Thursday. Shit. Oh, man. Um, MMA, we got very little this week, right? Well, fucking MMA has very little for us. <laughs> it's getting, it's getting, it's getting a little bad. hard, right? It's getting real bad. Real yeah. bad. I almost want to talk about the fight card that's going on in Clovis tomorrow. Yeah. I heard about that on the radio. I was like, are you fucking yeah. serious right now? Four, so one. It's a very regional from basically like I think Abilene to El Paso. Yeah, Brownfield. To, uh, I heard to Colorado Springs down to Clovis. Yeah, I mean, and in that rain, that re- Colorado range right Springs there. does have some proper talent. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Sad thing is people close might get too riled up and start trying to do that shit themselves. That's what you worry about, right? <laughs> I barely went to a wrestling event there just for that same reason. <laughs> All right. Well, Krista, we uh, I know you need to wrap up because you got an early, early day tomorrow. So, um, What are you doing tomorrow? Aerial performances. Ooh. Wee. Two of them. Feel free to plug if you like. We do have some locals listening. Oh, okay, sure. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Right. sometimes. Uh, Usually it's everybody from Finland. Some event centered around the range movement. It's like a an exercise facility off of Main Street. Okay. And they're doing um, raising money for for something i should know this information but i don't i didn't mean to put you on the spot it's all good and then but they're raising money that's the important yeah, thing for a good cause i promise and then tomorrow night is uh canna fest for talus's first canna fest so we'll be boy some djs it'll be pretty dope right so yeah we'll do a uh, bacon wrap pork medallions with an apple ragu Ooh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do beef ramen <laughs> from Walmart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cup of noodles. That's right. Because I don't have, I don't got sh- a bowl. <laughs> I need that shit to already be in a bowl. <laughs> uh, shit. No picks this week. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Uh, after Deftones, we'll give you a uh, yeah. William Duvall's Rock Slide. Give that motherfucking bitch a listen. Rock Slide's amazing. Rock Slide! Uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, uh, I'm sorry I did that. We'll, do, we'll be back in a couple weeks. Full rundown of Deftones. Enjoy self-kits.